Welcome to my semi-scientific quest to find the mastering limiter with the cleanest bass. I've actually tested dozens of plug-in limiters and have narrowed it down to a select few, so listen with good headphones or studio monitors as we're going deep. Let's start by generating a sine wave around 41 Hz at a peak level of minus 6 dB. My method is simple. Push the gain up till we have exactly minus 3 dB of gain reduction. The Pro L2 gain increase was exactly 9 dB, so reducing the output by 6 dB will gain match our original input signal. The idea being we can bypass the plug-in without any perceived change in level. To be absolutely sure, I do a quick null test by inverting the phase between the original and processed signals. I use Melda's MXXX to make a simple phase invert plug-in. At the current settings, the transparent algorithm creates quite a buzz with this amount of gain reduction. It's easy to hear how much harmonic distortion these settings added to the clean signal. Testing for distortion on peak reductions is not as easy as continuous tone, so I made a sine wave drum groove. This makes it easier to hear the distortion and visualize the limiter's attack and release times. The four long notes have 10 millisecond attack times so they don't click. This should make it easy to hear if a limiter is adding a click to the attack of the notes. Next, it's Isotope's Ozone Maximizer set to IRC4, Modern Algorithm. In order to get minus 3 dB reduction with this IRC, I had to set the threshold to minus 10.1 and the output to minus 7.1 dB. The added distortion is quite obvious with the default maximizer settings. More on this later. Next up is the Vice Compressor Limiter by Softube. I'm only using the Safe Limiter's T1 algorithm for gain reduction. Since the Ozone Maximizer has a bunch of IRC algorithms, I tested them all. I discovered that the IRC3 balanced algorithm with a character setting of 6 added the least amount of distortion. To be clear, Maximizer's character setting is not in milliseconds and controls both the attack and release times. Okay, let's play a short music loop through all the limiters with their current settings. This, of course, will result in a high amount of limiting with almost 9 dB of gain reduction. Too much, but useful in finding the limiter that best preserves the original mix.
I bounce them all down and gain match them for better comparison against the original mix. Some of you may have noticed I used rather long attack and release times with the Pro L2 example. This actually wasn't intended but makes little difference as the modern algorithm remains relatively distortion free regardless of the settings. The FabFilter Pro L2 is different than most limiters as it has two stages. A transient stage, which is controlled by the look ahead setting, followed by an RMS stage set with the attack and release controls. So, my observations. FabFilter's Pro L2 is virtually distortion free when using the modern algorithm at most settings. Isotope's Ozone Maximizer was capable of low distortion with character settings over 6, whatever that means. SoftTube's Vice Compressor Limiter was excellent in all the tests with the T1 algorithm, although the absence of attack and release controls does make it less flexible. If you'd like to try this test with your favorite limiter, there is a link below to my test files. <laughs>